What is going on guys? Today we've got the 77 times free upgrade pack. So it's an interesting one. It is repeatable for three days and it's going to be perfect to go alongside the league upgrade. We have got a video on the channel for the league upgrade if you want to have a look, but this one is going to require nine players. Now, if you are grinding this properly, or at least with the league upgrade, if not, just whack everybody in. If you are, you want to be utilizing all of the non-leagues that you will be using in the actual league SBC. So predominantly, all of the women's going to be a perfect one to whack into this. Air Divisie wise, I'm personally picking with two. I stick with PSV and Ajax as the two ones, especially with the price at the moment. So what we're going to be utilizing is this. So all of them is perfect. We also have an 84 times three that does require a minimum of 186 and an 83 rated team which I'm interested to see what we do get back. So I've already finished that one. Let's have a look and see, did we get anything good in that one? And I'm hoping the 77 times three does work out well. So the 84 times three is going to be Argentina. Center forward, is it going to be? It's going to be Dybala. Double walkout at the minimum. Who's he playing with? Oh, you take a bit of Courtois. Okay, 90, 86. And I'm assuming an 84. Reese James. I mean, you could have had worse. You definitely could have. Then we have the 77 times three. Now, this is going to be all dependent on what we actually get. Hopefully, there is some good stuff in here. Oh, uh, Minyan? Nah, who, I don't even know who it is, to be honest. Okay, yeah, not, not a clue. But in terms of the grind of this, this is going to be a perfect one to get more fodder back into the club, especially for them lower SBCs to start with or for your league SBCs in general. So when it comes to what you actually can do with these players, I would say... 83 and under, I would be putting back into this upgrade, which means every time if you don't get anybody that is worth keeping, you only have to put in six players at a time, which is always a nice grind. I like the fact that not every single one is 11 players constantly. We had a lot of 11 rares last year, which is fine because naturally you do get a lot of rares but realistically it's just a lot to grind out constantly so it is nice that they've gone a little bit of a different field with this so just looking at what we can kind of give up here what i will do is go through what leagues you'd be looking to probably put in and what you wouldn't want to be putting in if you want to grind this to the most maximum fashion possible because when it comes to just grinding these 77s constantly Eventually, they do just get tedious. I must admit, going backwards and forwards with duplicated cards is a bit of a grind. So there is a way to just get around it where you don't have to constantly be sitting there doing one SBC and just getting one pack that maybe isn't the biggest. So in the second one, we're going to go German, Cam, Musiala, uh, Royce or Brandt. I take the 84 if they've given it me. No, they've given me the Royce. So in terms of 83s, like I said, I'd probably just put them back in because realistically, that's going to be the best move. So if they are tradable, that would be even better because we can just whack them up there for the moment. So to start with, where do we want to grind this from and how much do we want to put in? Because when it comes to these upgrades now, I'm finding they're very hit and miss. It, in terms of what you actually get back, it is a long shot. We're not getting anything that is absolutely massive. And we get another one of that as well. That's nice actually so we can grind into them as well but what you want to be doing is this the premium mixed into then if we move these out of the way these are the two that you're going to be focusing on the most so straight off the bat the premium mix just as a quick one i'm personally using air divisi players normally ajax or psv you can go with ligon but it is quite expensive at the moment so i'm just finding people that i've got a lot in the club for already and utilizing that one team that will give you a jumbo gold pack back then with obviously the bundesliga and syria this one is so so easy same with the league and uh, the la liga and prem because we can use both leagues now and it's only 10 chems so it's very easy to do what i'm trying to do is utilizing as many silvers to start with and then also trying to just use half and half so i'm not running out of teams that i can use so for instance if i was doing this one I, i've obviously been doing it quite a lot as you can see we're kind of just navigating through the teams and just seeing what we've got that should be about enough i would say you could probably go one more we'll go with a roma player then i would go over to the bundesliga do exactly the same i'd maybe look at a few silvers as we see we have got a few so if i go you 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 and i'll check the rating after this one so we're looking at 74 so more than likely i'm going to need a higher rated player so i would go a 79 potentially double check the teams and i think i'm golden so with that it's straight off the bat done nice and easy and you only need 10 chem so literally just moving it around a little bit you should be able to pretty much get there 
quite quickly if we can just move a few we've already got center backs in there uh we'll go you can go cam goalkeeper right well this is probably the first one that i'm not actually able to do straight away eight and he can't be striker center mid cdms that's going to be the issue cdms can you go left back no that is always oh in fact if i go you there and then if i move him across or in fact he can play right back no fc24 is here and sky coach has all your needs covered from squad battles champs qualifications and even now draft boosting there is a long list of services they do give as well as coaching and also the big one everybody wants in fc24 coins the service is fast and reliable and you will get your coins, your boosting services or obviously coaching in a matter of hours. If you do want to get any of these, make sure you head over to skycoach.gg, go onto the website and when you go to checkout, make sure that you are using the code JT11 at checkout for your 5% off your orders. And if you'd prefer to do this on mobile, check out the screen right now with the QR code for their mobile app. And there we go. Just one change. <laughs> it's probably the first time I've actually had to change anything. 10 chem is normally very easy. So that's already one player. What I would suggest when it comes to the tradable side of these, we want to sell everything. So you've got the jumbo gold pack from the very first one. And then this one. I would personally, if you're looking to try and save as many coins as possible, I would sell them, but I would just put them all up and get them gone. Because what you want to be utilizing with this grind is untradables. EA are trying to take every tradable method away from us. These are the only two packs that we are going to get that are tradable. So that's going to be perfect to just sell all them on. And then we've got Lib and we've also got Prem La Liga and the Prime Gold for finishing to be able to put into any other SBCs. So if we get any 84s and above or we get any fodder that can go back into this, that's going to be perfect. But alongside that, if we get any duplicates that are based none on them leagues, so if they are not La Liga, Prem, Serie A, Bundesliga, one or two of your teams that you're using in the very first one, all Lib and Suds, then everything else goes into this. So this is just where you grind. And what I would suggest is every time you get a duplicate untradable, if it's not uh, tradable and you, can, you can't do anything with it, whack it straight into this. Don't go and put everything into this now. Wait and do it as and, as and when you basically can in, term, in terms of upgrades because that's just going to be easy to just keep the grind going. Obviously, any females at the moment can go in because we haven't got a league SBC or any reason to keep them so naturally they can all go in as well again league gun can go in and pretty much any gold away from them leagues are going to be perfect for this because that's just the way to grind it out it's meaning you're keeping all of your less uh, league SBC fodder any league SBC fodder you get from the 77 plus you can keep and utilize into that if you can't quite do it yet you don't want to spend the coins to get the rest of the Ajax team then obviously just put them back into this but naturally you want to be just keep grinding this through we get nobody else again so that's the way I would personally do it grinding it out so when it comes to this for instance, if I wanted to finish the League SBC, I've got now a La Liga player. I could go finish the League SBC, then go put him in the La Liga side. Then obviously I could reintroduce her into this SBC. Or you have the option of just putting it straight back in if you haven't got any other SBCs to do. So where do you start from this? Because naturally... If you haven't got all the golds yet, you're going to have to find a place for them. So when it comes to doing them, the bronze packs are going to be perfect. Naturally, that is the first place to go. If you've got coins, you could maybe buy your first one, start building your club, doing your rival rewards as you go. That is just always a big place to start. But the bronze packs is going to be perfect to do it. You can make money back from them. If you do manage to get a league gun player, you get a good manager, or just naturally anybody else that does go into a league SBC. For instance, the Portuguese player, for some reason are up and I don't think they were in the minor league SBC because then you've got MLS Championship, Saudi, Chinese League um, and then two others I think Siri B and League B or something like that you can obviously whack them in as well but they're not necessarily in a massive high demand at the moment so it is just one thing you're going to have a look and Lib and Suds from this you can have a look at them I would sell any high uh, kind of priced ones if they're not high priced I'd keep them in and put them into the gold one so as you just go through naturally you just want to check all the prices I think it's Belgium that's in actually so i would just check all the prices even the managers have a little look make sure that you are doing it 
from there with any of the players that you're not necessarily using in anything else, go and put them into the bronze upgrade. That's going to give you silvers, which is going to put you even better stead for any major leagues potential. You do only at the minute get a double upgrade of silvers. So we are waiting for that three and four silver upgrade. So you get two silver players at the moment, but sometimes they do bring out the premium bronze upgrade which means you get four silver players and eventually six seven and eight when we saw it last year so hopefully that does come out at some point now we do have league sbcs it means we don't have to touch the gold upgrade for three days which is always nice and we can just keep grinding out sbcs like the 84 times three you could get lucky in it it is just a gamble or you just put it back into another sbc and then also what else we could do with this is we could finish any player we want depending on how much time we're putting in but the good thing with that is if we get someone like aspas all of these players are normally all of the packs that you get back from players are tradable so if you get something there then again you've made money in so it's not just a bronze pack method only league uh, league sbc method only it's everything that goes into it to make coins i normally go with the rule if he's tradable get him gone no matter who it is if it's Mbappe, maybe, but millions of coins is going to mean you could just keep grinding it round. And that's really the best place to do it. Bronze packs to start with, that is, into bronze upgrades, then into League SBCs, then any fodder into the 77 upgrade, bring it back to the League SBCs, and then again, if you need the bronze packs again, bring it back down there and just constantly go through. It makes it a little bit more enjoyable that you are doing more than just one upgrade at a time, and it is so, so easy to do. Let me know if you need any more tips. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.